Are you kidding me? That all of this financial burden with my children is on me? What? This is not fair. When a man shows you who he is, you have to believe him. When anybody shows you who they are, you have to believe them. Like he doesn't have to pay nothing of it? Nothing? What? That's the that comes with being a woman that is so right or die about love. Ooh, the trash acting abilities from this show is outlandish so if you don't know what's going on she's saying she he doesn't have to handle any of the financial burdens that's not accurate he pays forty three hundred dollars a month for both of the children that they have since they've gotten divorced right the divorce just came through like a month ago or something like that but the court has ordered him to pay forty three hundred dollars this is acting at its finest <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, learn your partner before you, you jump ahead and fall in love with the words and all of that stuff that make up this fairy tale. Because when no one's looking, that's when everything just goes left. Financially, the kids are my responsibility. I have primary custody of them. Damn. But strong and I'm here I will always believe in love love is real but I'm gonna take time to love on me and pour on me and I want to learn this new woman that I am this woman that has learned to emotionally be in control of what <laughs> are you kidding me so I want you to understand <laughs> Like, look at how these people are able to cry at the drop of a dime to make it sound more, I don't even know the word, more interesting or more outlandish or whatever. If you look up the paperwork, this man's paying $4,300 a month for two kids that totals to over $50,000 a year. Then if you add that up over 18 years, that's over $900,000 over the course of that time. So... What financial burden are you carrying by yourself? You know, this propaganda that they push that men are not financially involved with their kids is not true. Um, I got to look up the statistic, but one of them showed that only like 7% of black men don't actually involve themselves with their children financially or anything. You know what I'm saying? So to say that the deadbeat dad is the most prevalent thing in the culture is foolishness. And it's something that's being pushed continually. And for her to say, I'm ride or die, I care about love and all of that stuff, you bragged about divorcing your husband. That's right. This is not divorce party. So yeah. That's right. This is not divorce party. That's right. That's not ride or die. That's celebrating getting out. The woman has been with more men than I can remember. One of them was Bow Wow. You know what I'm saying? Where is this ride or die at? Where is this sticking through it? Where is it at? And I get it. If a relationship is bad, you got to get out of it. But you got to stop playing this, oh, I'm a ride or die. I love hard. When are you going to learn from love? Because you have obviously loved a decent amount of men and you still haven't figured out where you're going wrong at and then to try to blame safari for not paying his end then to come out come to find out dude has joint custody she's she has primary custody she's got custody she's got to do it all by herself i'm telling you this propaganda to make men look bad is totally disgusting and these men on these shows also assist in selling their souls why because they're agreeing to allow these women to talk down and not speak the truth for what, 10, 20, 30,000 a show? It's ridiculous. I'd rather be broke than be told that I'm not taking care of my kids, flat out. But let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Would you allow somebody to go online, do a show, and portray that you're not actually a 
help a helpful co-parent or would you just let them do it for the money you know but let me let me know what y'all think down in the comment section and be on the lookout for more videos all right everybody peace